Hey y'all! If you're watching this video, you either are already subscribed to me and got a notification and decided to watch this video. Thanks. Or you saw this video and are interested in watching somebody recreate costumes from old classic movies. Either way, thank you, and I just wanted to talk about Jane Russell and nearly every single one of her outfits in Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. I could try to list them all, but there's so many. There's the blue-green tur turquoise dress, the black beaded dress, of course the black fitted outfit with the yellow and checkered coat, which I've always want to make, wanted to make, so we're gonna, you know, that's gonna be someday, but I'm just not ready for it yet. I guess I should get to the point of what this video is gonna be about, rather than just blathering on about all the costumes that I drooled over while re-watching it the other day when I didn't really feel well. I'm still in bathing suit mode after my last one turned out so well that when I saw Dorothy's blue and white polka dot overcoat and the blue and white bathing suit, I knew I had to recreate it in some form. I don't really feel the pull to make the blue, the ensemble blue. So what I'm going to do is actually just pull all the color out and try and recreate it in black and white. So I would do the black and white polka dots with the white overcoat and then just a black fitted bathing suit underneath. I had a couple bathing suits and I decided that I was going to do Simplicity 8139. Here it is. Let's see if I can get it to stay. Okay, there it is. And this is a 1950s reproduction pattern, but it has the best shape of all my patterns to do the overcoat with, and where you can see the polka dots, and then just the fitted top tie bathing suit. And we're gonna try to make it look as much like her outfit, or, you know, you can never be as cool as Jane Russell, but you can surely try. All right, so I'm gonna head out. I'm gonna go pick up this fabric and then I will bring it home and we'll see if this is gonna work. I didn't record too much of this process because it was pretty late when I was working on it, but I had four pieces total, two front, two back for the outer pieces and then the same for the lining. And I attached them all together except for in the back lining piece, I left about this much room so that I could turn it inside out and sewed it together along the entire outside. Pulled it inside out or right side out and then 
kind of like a pillowcase, so this is actually a really simple project. But I have the sleeves like this. So I'm going to lazy do these and I'm going to serge them together and then flip like this and stitch them down so they stay in place like that. I'm actually very impressed with this beach coat pattern. It came together very simply and I had no issues with it along the way. And that's saying something using terry cloth in quilting cotton that it looks, in my opinion, as good as it does. I just feel very luxurious and like I need to go to a resort that I can't really afford wearing this. So next, I'm going to make the bathing suit to go underneath this. I am going to go ahead and do that in another video, so if you want to stick around and watch that, go ahead and subscribe, and that should be coming out within the next couple weeks. <laughs>